Hi, this is Gary with MacMost Now. Well, today Apple announced new Mac Minis, new iMacs, and new Mac Pros, and a bunch of other stuff. Let's go and take a look. So Apple updated all of their desktop machines today. Let's start by taking a look at the new iMac. So Apple has four base configurations for the new iMacs. The first one is for a 20 inch screen and this one comes in with a 2.66 GHz Intel Core 2 Duo processor, 2 gigs of RAM, 320 gig hard drive, and also a new video chipset, the 9400M GeForce chipset from Nvidia. Now from there you go to the 24 inch screen models and these come with a 3.06 GHz Intel Core 2 Duo processor, comes standard with 4 gigs of RAM, comes with a 1 terabyte drive and also the Nvidia GeForce 130 GT video chipset. So the price for the low end starts at $1,199 and it goes up to $2,199 for the base model high end one that I just mentioned. So Mac Mini fans everywhere can rejoice. There's finally a new version of the Mini out. This one has a 2 GHz Intel Core 2 Duo processor. It's got some extra USB ports. It also continues to have FireWire. It's got a FireWire 800 port and it's using a new Nvidia GeForce chipset, the 9400M, just like the laptops and the iMacs. The Mini also continues to have the Mini DVI port and in addition it gains the new DisplayPort adapter that's used in all the new laptops. The prices stay about the same, $599 for the base price and you can get an upgraded one for $799 with a bigger hard drive and a little bit more base memory. Now there's a lot of new stuff in the new Mac Pros. They feature all new Xeon processors, the cutting edge ones. There's also four different FireWire ports now and in addition to that there's also a new chipset. You can start anywhere from the GT120s and go up from there. There's a lot of build to order options for the Mac Pros of course so your price is going to vary greatly but they start at about $2500. In addition to the Macs both the Airport Extreme base station and the Time Capsule base station have been updated. There's been some minor changes. For instance the Airport Extreme now has two antennas. That means you can run both the 802.11G and 802.11N frequencies. With, what this means is basically with all the new Macs you can use the N which is better for high speed connectivity. But you need the G because you have, if you have an iPhone or an iPod Touch they don't have N. With the current models you couldn't do that. You had to run one or the other. But with the new ones you can basically run both at the same time and have different devices connecting at different speeds. Time Capsule also has some neat features in the new version. One is the ability to use Mobile Me to access the stuff on the hard drive for the time capsule. So if you have mobile me and a Mac you can go ahead and hook up to your hard drive via a network and access stuff there. It might be very useful for some folks. Now there are also new Airport Extreme base stations and time capsule base stations today. There's a couple of new upgraded features like there's two antennas in the Airport Extreme so you can run 802.11n and 802.11g at the same time. The G of course would be for your iPhone or iPod Touch and the N would be for all the recent Macs. Also the time capsule has the ability to use mobile me to access the contents of the hard drive which could be useful for some folks. Another interesting thing was a new keyboard that was put out today. This new keyboard will come with all the new Macs unless you upgrade to the old one which has a numeric keypad. So the new keyboard is a lot smaller and more compact without the keypad and you can still upgrade to the older with keypad keyboard. It's interesting that Apple is showing a recommitment to FireWire with all these new releases. All of these machines have FireWire 800 ports and the Pro has four of them. Now if you have FireWire 400 devices it's just the difference of having a cable that goes from 800 to 400. They all still work. So now the only machines that Apple has that doesn't have FireWire are the plain MacBooks and the MacBook Air. Everything else sticks with FireWire in fact takes it to FireWire 800. Also with the releases today Apple shows a big commitment to its new DisplayPort technology. All of these machines have a DisplayPort port even though they also include the older mini DVI ports as well. So the new 24 inch cinema display that Apple released last year will now work on all of these machines. So you can go to the Apple.com website of course to see all these machines, see pictures of them and see all the build to order configurations. I love to know what you think about the new offerings. You can send me a message via Twitter if you like or leave a comment to this post at MacMost.com. Till next time, this is Gary Rosenzweig with MacMost Now.